So I want a white man because white men are rich. I want a white man because white men don't cheat. I want a white man because I want to move abroad. Girl, sit your ass down and listen to this. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm talking interracial relationships or should I say interracial marriages. I'm going to talk about why African women want to marry white men and I'm mostly going to focus about uh, focus on Zambia because that's where I come from and I'm also going to talk about myths behind marrying a white man. So if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscription button as well as the notification button so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Mostly uh, an African mentality or should I say like you know African women some of the African women I know they're gonna kill me some of them but uh, this is the truth um, think like you know being married to a white man it means you're rich or it means they've got money or whatever and mostly the reason behind marrying a white man is a bit you know controversial because if, if you're gonna go into a relationship hoping to say I'm gonna marry somebody because of the race or their color and you think because they are of their color they might have certain you know things that probably your, the other race doesn't have then you're really really in for a shock in as much as you have white men that are rich there are black men that are rich in as much as you have white men that are poor there are also black men that are poor and vice versa i'm not gonna focus um on on other race but i'm gonna talk because this interracial marriage is based on or relationship is based on white and black so if you're gonna go or go be with somebody because of their uh, race and thinking because of their race they're actually rich then you're in for a shock so let's talk about uh, you know women that actually are in these kind of relationships and for example um, you find that if they're all every every choices that you make in life as you know a price to pay so if you are thinking to say oh I'm gonna go for a white man because they are rich they might not be rich they might just be an average man who's just trying to make a living as well so you're in for a shock but mostly you find that some women would go for my, maybe an older white man yes you have a chance to find like an older white man is rich but also you have to also you know uh, look at also the price that's in marrying like an older man and no offense to anybody who's married to an older man but this is just like the truth this is the reality this is life so you're gonna have to like choose between material things riches and luck and luxury over certain things say for example sex because obviously we all know that uh, the older somebody gets the lesser um active or the less sexually active they become so for example you marry an older white man who's actually rich we're talking of you know black and white here and specifically black women and white men so you're gonna marry somebody who's actually you know older than you and obviously you're gonna have all this luxurious life and you're also gonna have like you know whatever you need you drive a Porsche car you know you, you know I'm not saying you married them for money but we're talking of you know white men are rich but I'm, so mostly you find that you go for somebody who's older because they've worked their entire life and you know they've got money saved up and you know basically they've retired mostly of them and they've got money in short so you also have to factor in the price that comes with luxury and marrying a older man which is maybe a sex a sexless life and if you're willing to be you know have all these luxuries without the sex then it's fine nobody could blame me or anything like that but i'm just telling the young girls to you know figure out what they want in life and know if if, if it's fine with them to go for another man and have a sexless life and have all these luxurious stuff sur surrounding them then they can do it so this is just the truth behind marrying you know say white man it's not every white man that's rich some are rich, some are poor, some are average. 
so we, we i'm talking about um marrying an older man for example so you have the luxury like i said you have the material things you drive a porsche car but you might also figure out you might also find that you don't really have a active sex life so if that's good for you then that's where i'm good you can go ahead um sometimes you find that um you marry to an older man who's giving you everything but then you want to cheat on that man that's not fair ladies that are married to these men you need not to cheat on these men because they've given you the life that you want why do you have to cheat on them because they're not maybe uh sexually active that's not fair so the mistake these ladies make is you have an older man who's given you everything you've ever wanted and because you're missing certain things like sex for example you want to go for a younger one who's gonna be like you know giving you all the sex that you don't get to an old to your older white man and that that's where the problem comes in because you cannot have it all in life that's what it is so you have this life you want another life but then you want to be unfair to that person that's giving you this life so ladies be careful to my young girls be careful what you wish for and just you know you know be careful how you choose a certain lifestyle so let's so white men don't cheat girl you're in for a shock if you're gonna marry a certain race expecting they don't cheat and based on the fact that they don't cheat because of a certain race then you are in for a shock in as much as you have black assholes there's also white assholes that's just the nature of human being it all comes down to a person who they are and how they are how they live their life if somebody is unfaithful whether black or white chinese indian they're always gonna be unfaithful if they cheat they're gonna always cheat on you that's just how it is so you have to be very careful when you make these kind of decisions in life just, don't just look at a certain race to say oh because because that's the myth that goes around say oh white men don't cheat girl there are so many white men that cheat in this world so you gotta narrow it down to an individual what kind of a person am i marrying knowing a person knowing who they are and how they treat you is the vital part for you to know you know how you're gonna live with that kind of a person that's why there's this dating this courtship so that you know if this person is actually not a cheat because whether black or white whether indian or chinese or whatever if a person cheats they're gonna cheat so you have to be careful and don't just go with the myth saying oh white men don't cheat they laugh yes they do but there's also black people that love their women as well i mean white men that love their women so it all comes down to the nature of a human being the nature of people who they are it all comes down to that you know what i mean so don't go into these kind of relationships because of what you've heard from somebody because you think oh because my friend has got a white man that doesn't doesn't cheat on her i'm gonna go for a white man because they don't cheat that's a myth that's that's a lie you have to narrow it down to an individual who they are and how they treat you and just how they carry themselves in life so girls ladies white men do cheat it just depends on who you meet if you're lucky enough to meet somebody who truly loves you uh, it doesn't matter the race or where they come from then you are lucky but just you know keep it in mind that they are also i don't want you to go into a relationship expecting that white men don't cheat then you get cheated on and say ah, but white men don't cheat they're just human beings like anybody else so narrow it down to an individual an individual learn to, learn to know an individual and you can make the best decision out of that another myth that people think like marrying a white man is living abroad so ladies there's something maybe people don't tell you about living abroad life abroad is not the same as back home 
I'm saying back home because I come from Southern Africa, Zambia to be specific. Here is a little bit different. It's quite different to be honest. Living abroad is not as easy as people tend to show it on social media. Unless you're married to a very rich man, say a white, white old rich man, then probably you'll be a queen, you know, everything probably, you know, they'll, you don't need to work, for example, because all the bills and expenses are paid for. You can just live a luxurious life, fly out, fly in, wherever you want to go, unless you're in that kind of a relationship. But if you just marry an average white man that's just trying to live by and also, you know, just living his life, then you gotta work. Here, you gotta work and pay bills. So don't expect to say, oh, I'm going to marry a white man because I want to live abroad and I want to live a luxurious life. It's all about bills. It's all about working all the time. You work, your, your schedule is about working. That's just how people live here. It's, and if, say, for example, here, me and my husband, we both work. We work around our schedules, work around, you know, taking our son to school and stuff like that. We, we like a team, in short. So you got to know how... To work around your schedules so um back home life is a little bit chilled i may say because you know in as much as there's not much income here life is a bit like really really it's all about bills if you know what i'm talking about i don't know what way, what term i can use but it's all about paying bills and if you don't pay bills you get fined and stuff like that so it's not as easy as you see it on social media. Others might have it easy. Others might have it, you know, a little bit there and then. But others might also have it rough. Because let me tell you one thing, ladies. There are white men that are also homeless. Here, in England, there are also white people that are actually asking for a coin. In as much as you have that back. So don't... You know, don't see what, what, don't take anything that you see on social media and expect that, oh, life abroad is perfect because you're going to come here based on that, married to this man, and then you're going to find life really hard, should I say, like, you're going to find it hard to, like, adjust, and some people do find it hard to adjust, especially if you're not the working type, if you're the lazy type, if you know what I mean, if you just want to sit on your ass and don't work. Then you're gonna find it a bit rough when you come here best the fact that because it's white it's gonna provide everything every person wants to have a partner who's a team player every man should i say in this life nowadays with this kind of economy wants a partner who's a team player somebody who's able to contribute something into their lives that's just how it is so please 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 ladies don't think because he's white you're gonna have an extravagant life that extravagant life comes with the price like i said sexless life you're gonna end up cheating on him and things just go you know everything just like blow out of proportion and stuff and maybe if you want a average young man you're gonna have to work because it's only fair you both have to work and if you're a lazy type of uh, go and you don't want to work then tough you're gonna find it very very hard to live here and don't marry to go abroad that's a very 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 you know low opinion of meeting somebody like you just want to live abroad so you're gonna marry somebody like get always your self-esteem like you know you don't marry people based on that and that's why you find it like there's a lot of you know problems in certain relationships because first of all you go into a relationship for the wrong reasons so just be careful make a wise decision before you actually you know go into this kind of relationship so there is poor black men there is poor white men there's rich white men there's also rich black men and Living abroad, don't marry because you want to live abroad because what you think of uh, life abroad might not always be the result that you get. So just be careful what you wish for. Make decisions based on how you look at life, not because somebody said this or because you are 
copying or liking or want somebody's life that you see on social media things that you see on social media is not actually the reality of life everybody's living a happy life on social media everybody nobody's gonna tell you something negative on social media to say oh my life is this. everybody's gonna post every positive thing they could possibly come up with so rich old they're happy right no sex who knows i'm just saying um white young sex yes good probably financial not so good but working there i think i prefer that kind of life because i i'm a kind of girl that works i've always worked back home and wherever i've always worked for my stuff so i prefer that I actually prefer somebody who would love me for me would not cheat on me i don't i don't take cheater cheats people that cheat it's a non-starter for me and just you know build a life together so to encourage young girls find somebody who will love you for you truly love you appreciate you respect you and build a life together work your ass don't just wait for a man to provide for you work your ass uh, your ass out go and leave in you, you as well it's it's just 50 50 nowadays isn't it ladies i hope this video has been so helpful and you can make a sound decision when it comes to dating somebody outside your race and please don't don't think everything that you see on social media is gold or everything that glitters is gold um it's, i think it's a it's a, a misinformed decision or it's a misconception where you want to go into a relationship based on the race of an individual that it's it's just for me that's just background thinking i think you should go into a relationship because you love that person don't see because they are white they they, they are better off it's just an individual if somebody is not good then they're not good whether black or white if somebody is good they are good whether white or black so go into this relationship because you love that person and you want to spend the rest of your life with that person i hope this video has been helpful and if it is then please give it give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that subscription button so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video and i'll keep these videos coming and you know you can like share comment and let's just keep on uh, enlightening each other so i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching and bye bye bye